it's Gail, the Happy Stamper. Thanks for stopping by and visiting with me. So I just got back from Salt Lake City. I was out there for the big Stampin' Up! convention and it was so much fun. I had a great time, came home completely inspired, wanting to build my team, um, and I just got so much to share with you. So I made about 200 swap cards and I came home with just as many swap cards in addition to meeting some of the big gurus in YouTube land that are with Stampin' Up! as well, like um, Angie Judah and Mary Fish, Patty Bennett, OMG, nicest woman. They were all lovely. Truly, just lovely and humble and Connie Stewart, just very gracious women. So I count myself blessed to be a part of a company with women like this. Uh, so I wanted to share with you the just a smithering of the swaps I came home with. Um, so let's get started and if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay guys, I just wanted to quickly share with you, this is the adorable bag that was filled with goodies that all of us at convention got. Isn't it awesome? I love it. It's gray and it's like a felty kind of a flannel and has this long handle and it really holds a lot. And It's got a cute little back pocket and it's red inside and it says Stampin' Up! Super cute. So that was our goodie bag, so to speak. All right, so I am just going to start by laying out a bunch of cards here. And if you have any questions, let me know. I apologize ahead of time for any glare. And here we go. These are the cards that I got in my swap with different ladies. How cute is this? The little pencil. Super cute. I don't know how to do this any faster, you guys, except to lay them out and let you see them. But there are some really, really talented ladies. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I came home with so many cards. Um, I had to buy an entire another bag um, in order to get them home. I think what I'll do is perhaps zoom in a little bit and then I'll just lay them down for you. Isn't he cute? That's coming out, you guys. That'll be ready um, and available very, very soon. But aren't these adorable? So cute. So cute. That was from my upline. And some of these nice ladies even did full cards. OMG. And then I am going to show you also the cards that I made. Super pretty. Super pretty. Okay. So these cards, this is the one, one of the one I made. One of the ones I made, this is using the new stamp set Garden Bloom, and I just made my own background paper here and then just stamped my sentiment. And I used mint macaroon, which is delicious. This was another one that I made for the swap. Um, this was using Watermelon Wonder Tip Top Taupe and mint macaron, or mint macaroon, however you want to pronounce it. And it um, was also using Gorgeous Grunge stamp set. And then the punch for the flowers here and a little rhinestone. Okay, and this one was the big hit. Are you ready? Da 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 da! It's a minion! Hmm. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I love it. Um, I will probably do a demo of this, a hands-on, um, because he was pretty popular with the movie releasing and all that. But this was a bunch of punches. There absolutely is no stamping on here. So as soon as I got there, this guy was the first to go. I made probably a hundred of these. And 
50 of these and 50 of my other one, and this guy was the first to go. He was really popular, so that was really fun. But I'll do a tutorial on that for you. So, just getting back to these. So many pretty sets. So, so pretty. You know, and it's so fun to see all the different designs and ideas that people come up with. It just amazes me. We all, you know, have our own style and you don't realize it. But boy, was convention fun. Oh my goodness. We had the first night with Patty Bennett, Janice Waitman, who is my upline, and Janet Wakeland. They all had a big bling kind of a party night for us. And so my flight got in a little bit late. And this was the sweet gift that my upline gave me. And this was the card she had made. Super cute. And uh, this was part of the little make and takes. They had some make and take projects for us to do. So that was really fun. And we had the party and just, you know, did some make and takes and talked and swapped cards. And it was super fun. I love this butterfly. This is also from the Garden um, Bloom stamp set. This one, the flower got a little smushed. Sorry, girls. Got a little smushed. That uh, happens when you travel with cards. But I had so much stuff to bring home that I... Hi, guys. Okay, sorry about that. My battery went dead. So I was showing you this Happy Birthday Wishes card. So cute. And this was a make and take that we did at one of the classes. And let me tell you, you do not want to miss out on the Christmas fun coming. Oh, my goodness. Look how adorable this one is. It's one of those... Um, you know, slider where it's colored and then boop goes back in in black and white. Darling. Gosh. So, as I was saying, we were at the get together the first night and swapping and meeting all of the different demonstrators from all over the country, and it was really fun. Oh my gosh. I was so tired that night. I slept like a rock. Luckily, my hotel was right across the street from the convention center, so I didn't have to walk too far, but it was just so, so much fun. And now they're going to be doing smaller versions of convention all over the country. So this will be a fun change of pace, and I'm excited. I know a lot of the gals are. It's going to be closer to home, um, and there won't be the involvement in having to travel and fly and airfare. And, you know, some people, you know, will be staying in the hotels um, the one that is coming to my area is, is going to be in Milwaukee, so I'm just going to drive up for the day and come back home. But um, it's exciting. There's a lot of big changes coming with Stamping Up, so if you've ever imagined yourself as a Stamping Up demonstrator, loving the products, sharing it with friends and family, and teaching others how to create their own cards and scrapbook pages, home projects. I make home projects all the time. Um, I just, if you saw in a, my recent video, I just did a cute little light up, night light for my neighbor across the street. So there's just lots of good things that come from using the Stampin' Up! products and I am very excited about this. And I'm excited to share the opportunity um, and build my team. So it's very exciting and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And please feel free to share this video if you think there's someone that might be interested or looking for ideas. But I've got lots of ideas coming up. So brace yourself. Just brace yourselves. Because I really got inspired at 
convention and it Oh, I just have so much on my mind and things that I want to do and all that kind of good stuff. So um, I hope you enjoy the ideas that I'm putting out here for you. There's some great new products coming out. I saw the Occasions catalog. Oh my gosh, just incredible stuff. And so I'm thrilled. And I'll have a few products that I have ordered ahead of time. I love this color. <laughs> I'll have some products ahead of time so I can share some things with you that I have created using those new products. But all I can say is Halloween wowza, Christmas double wowza. I'm just in awe. You know, just when you think that it gets better and better. This is from Patty Bennett. Isn't that cute? Uh, and this, I love the colors too. I just, there's so many. It was so fun to meet all these different people. It really was. I, I enjoyed it tremendously. All right, hang on. I've got another pouch. Get that out of there. And I'm hoping most of these made it home in one piece but you never know i had to buy a whole nother bag <laughs> that's so funny but it was very nice to see all the different gals earning awards walking across the stage i mean each one was just precious just precious so i think it's a wonderful organization and company to be a part of. There's some new um, structuring going on, and I think it's actually a really great time to get in on it because it's a little bit easier than it was in years past to move on up. So uh, I'm excited for what the future holds. But... The first night, like I said, we had this bl bling party, and the theme of awards night was like the Roaring Twenties, and everyone was dressed up, and they were just adorable. They had, oh my gosh, so much good food, hors d'oeuvres, little desserts and things, and they had like old-fashioned cars that people could sit in and pose and get pictures taken. That was really fun to see everyone. They had classes. I got lots of good information about projects and hosting and running different clubs and you know all sorts of things like that. So it was very, very interesting. And the swapping though I think was my favorite part. And then on the last night, we went to an amazing Mexican restaurant that I just found out was on that um, Guy Ferraro, I believe is his name, on his show. And it um, is like one of the best restaurants oopie, in, um, you know, the States, according to him. And when I lived in New Jersey, one of the diners that we used to frequent quite a bit was also voted that. Um, in New Jersey, it was called the Jefferson Diner, and in Salt Lake, it's the Blue Iguana. And it was Mexican food, and the wait was pretty long, but it was well worth it. Well worth it. It was just delicious food. Aren't these colors pretty? Mm -mm -mm. So that was a lot of fun. We had some margaritas and girl time and, you know, just talked about upcoming things and how to work our businesses and just a lot of sharing. So I really felt like, you know, I wasn't alone in this, that, you know, there are people that really want you to succeed. And look how cute this guy is. I love it. That is so darling it. Joe Golden. Oh, really clever people. 
So I'm excited, you guys. So keep your eyes and ears out. Oh, and this guy lost a bow tie and I saw it in one of my bags. Hang on, hang on. There it is. How cute is this? Oops, I put it on upside down. Oh, rats, come on. There we go. How cute is this, you guys? Darling. Um, so I was very excited, and if you've ever imagined yourself with all your favorite stamps and goodies at a discount that you can actually purchase for yourself and have it count towards your sales and get the rewards, just let me know and I'll be happy to get information to you. It's an exciting time. The new products are incredible. So these were some of the swaps that I swapped and I loved them all. Thank you to all the ladies. It was so much fun. I had a great time, great time. So there you have it guys. I'm gonna clean up my mess, but thank you so much for visiting with the Happy Stamper. If you have any questions, Leave me a comment down below. Look at my jams are still on. <laughs> so I'll get back to you. But thanks again and have a great weekend. Bye, guys.